the pedophiles in the Democrat Party. And you know what? Before I get before I get all the feedback, how can you say only Democrats are pedophiles? Pedophile knows no political party. No, okay, of course, of course there are Republican pedophiles, Roy Moore allegedly. But you know, it's not in the party platform. You know, it's not something we embrace. Where is it? Whereas it is something the left is embracing. I mean, come on, how, how does a Democrat win in Alabama? You know how it happens? Roy Moore runs on the GOP ticket. We don't want them in our party. We don't want them anywhere near us. Whereas pedophilia, pedophilia is very in vogue right now with the Democrat party. It's, you know, it's considered, it's considered very chic. You know, they think it's magnificent. And we have the proof. We have the pr of course we have the proof. What kind of show do you think this is? The AO AOC show? No, we've got the proof. We'll get to it in just a bit. I mean, we don't throw bombs on this show and then walk away. That's what AOC does. But first, I want to go back to Epstein for a bit, because in addition to the child sex trafficking charges, Epstein, he's already a registered sex offender. He had to spend 13 months in county jail. He paid restitution to some of the girls, and Acosta was the one who helped with this sentencing. We'll get to that in a second as well. But, you know, the political class, I mean, they think Epstein is just the grooviest, right? He's super cool. Bill Clinton, he sang Jeffrey Epstein's praises. And then Donald Trump. Donald Trump called him a terrific guy, but back when Donald Trump was a Democrat, of course, because Democrats are the ones who love pedophilia. You know, that was back in 2002. Trump wasn't woke yet. Now, of course, Trump has no relationship to Epstein because Trump is no longer a Democrat. The fact that he has no relationship is according to Alan Garten, an attorney for the Trump Organization, says they were friends in 1997 and 2000. And then in 2007, when I was still in high school, their relationship cooled. And Trump was prohibiting him from visiting the club around that time as a reaction to the criminal charges that had been filed against Epstein. And Trump, back in 2015, he had a hunch about his connections to Bill Clinton and, and the island. Remember the island. Uh, Bill Clinton. Nice guy. Uh, got a lot of problems coming up, in my opinion, with the famous island with Jeffrey Epstein. A lot of problems. Well, what did Bill Clinton know? I mean, he was on that jet, what, 24, 26 times, some reports are saying? He didn't see anything go down, really? Did he participate in some of the acts? We'd love to know. We'd love to know. Investigative journalist Conchita, Conchita Sarn, that's not a real, that's not a real name. Sounds like a made-up name. Actually, I've only heard of one other, Conchita. It's the singer with the beard, right? It's the singer with the beard from Austria. She's a woman, but she's got a beard. Because it's 2019. You know, this is what happens. This is what happens when you don't send your kids to Freedom Project Academy, all right? Conchita. Singer with a beard. Look her up. Her music's fantastic. But this Conchita that we're talking about doesn't have a beard. This is a different Conchita. This, is, uh, this Conchita is a journalist. And this Conchita says, quote, President Bill Clinton isn't telling the truth when he says he knows nothing of the alleged crimes of Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, no, you think? And Conchita, the not bearded Conchita, but journalist Conchita, has gone through uh, the pilot logs and says that, quote, almost every time that Clinton's name is on the pilot logs, there are underage girls. There are initials. There are names of many, many girls on that private plane. You know, Bill Clinton says that's not true. That's not true. It's not true. He's never heard. He's never heard of such a thing, right? But his record with the truth, I don't know, it's not exactly a glimmering one. And so Trump, you know, we talked about Acosta. Trump needs to get rid of this Acosta guy. Sh I don't, shouldn't have hired him in the first place. You know, he's a Bush guy, Bush guy, you know, Republican. I mean, anyone with the last name Acosta is trouble. But this Acosta guy, he's the one who got this pedophilic freak, the sweetheart deal. According to the Miami Herald, not only would Epstein serve just 13 months in the county jail, but the deal called a non-prosecution agreement. What the hell is that? What the hell is a non-prosecution agreement? Essentially shut down an ongoing FBI probe into whether there were more victims and other powerful people who took part in Epstein's sex crimes, according to a Miami Herald examination of thousands of emails, court documents, and FBI records. Sounds like a giant scam. Sounds like a giant scam, and I want him out of there. I mean, remember when there were rumors that he would succeed Jeff Sessions at the Justice Department? Remember that? What a disaster that would have been. 
So we've asked the White House for comment on when he's going to be gone. At the time of this taping, we hadn't heard back yet, but I hope it's immediately. I would hope it's immediately. It doesn't look like it's going to be. Acosta released a statement. Now that new evidence and additional testimony is available, the New York prosecution offers an important opportunity to more fully bring him to justice. More fully. Okay, so what you're saying is you didn't bring him to justice? We can't have this in our party. We don't have tolerance for pedophiles and their enablers. You know, unlike with the progressive left where it's very acceptable and terrific. I mean, that, that, that's, you know, it's, it's becoming acceptable. You think I'm making it up. That's why when you open up your copy of the New York Times, because I know you guys are all avid readers, you see articles like this, quote, pedophilia, a disorder, not a crime. No, it's not a crime. It's just a disorder. And in a rag known as Salon, they had an article in 2015. I'm a pedophile, but I'm not a monster. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And we need to bring back the electric chair for these pedophiles and just zap them. Bye. Adios. You know, hope you, hope you learned your lesson. You know, I'm not willing to progress on this issue. You know, they want us to be more accepting of everything. No, I draw the, I draw the line here. Okay, because this is clearly what it's coming to. They, they want it to become normal. You know, first you destigmatize it, then you normalize it. Oh, it's just a sexual orientation. It's not a crime, guys. What if this love that you really wish for will forever be impossible? That must be a really lonely situation to be in. It's like telling me, we know that you love your boyfriend and we don't minimize this love. However, you cannot act out on it ever. I mean, is her... Is her boyfriend in first grade? M might be, might be, you know, I'm sorry, no. I mean, you can't, you can't, I'm sorry. I mean, it's like, this is what liberals do with terrorists. You know, you have to understand their rage. You have to accept it. You have to understand it. I mean, I'd send them all. I'd send them all to the same circle of hell. I mean, just because, just because you want to do something terrible does not make it acceptable in any way. You know, if I, if I have the urge to choke my neighbor to death, it's not cute. I can't act out on it. You know, that's, that's how laws work. That's how laws work. You can't harm innocent people just because you have some psychopathic urge in you. Can't do it. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be allowed to say this very soon because we're on the road to normalizing this kind of nonsense. It's going to, you know, it's, it's going to call, they're going to call it something phobic. You know, you're a, you're a pedophobe. You hate pedophiles. Damn straight I do. But notice... You know, it's interesting. Notice how the Democrats are more furious with Acosta than they are with Epstein himself. Want to know why? Because anti-Trump hate is more important to the Democrat Party than anti-pedophilia. Pedophilia is one of the worst crimes you can commit, and that should be more important to them. I mean, it's clear we're already on the road to it. We're on the road to accepting it. When you see tweets like this, like the one I'm about to show you, and you don't know if it's satire or not, that shows the Overton window has already been moved, folks. We're already there. Tweets like this that say, quote, children, enjoy sex, whether that's between themselves or someone their age, or even better yet, someone who is mature and can guide them through sex. Sex between an adult and a child doesn't always equal rape, and pedos need to be accepted. LGBTQP, flag, whatever, you know, all the emojis, all the emojis that says, I'm accepting. I mean, was that satire? I don't know. The fact that I don't scares the hell out of me. We couldn't look it up. The account has been suspended. So it looks like, you know, we, we can't see what this person's worldview is or what their tweet history is because their account's not up. But I mean, hello, normalization, because in a couple of years, that's going to be normal. And, you know, hating that, that's not going to be acceptable. That's going to make you a bigot. I mean, the effort to make them human, the effort to make them relatable. You know, it's been in full force for a while. Back in 2016, this article, what it's like to be a celibate pedophile. Oh, you poor soul. I mean, want to know what it's like to be a, a wannabe rapist? I mean, we're supposed to have sympathy for you? No. As this cranky socialist once said, I don't think so. I don't think so.